You're listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin, making the real estate journey accessible to anyone. Welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a huge break since our first season. It's only because we've been lazy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we've been prepping season two. We wanted to be a little bit more organized and a little bit more concise about what we feed you guys just to just to make it more digestible. And like we were having a lot of fun with this and we appreciate y'all clicking, joining us and being a part of this community. Uh, we want it to grow and we want more people to be helped. And uh, we want to be helped ourselves, right? So be a part of this community subscribe to the channel. Before I dive in more, I'd like to reintroduce ourselves. My name is Sajan Abraham. I'm here with Siju Koshi. You are watching Guts and Grind and we are in season two. Siju, how are you? I'm good, my man. It feels good to be back. You and I were talking about just getting this thing back up and rolling. It's, it's a lot of work I mean, between us, but it, it's work, but it's, it's it feels good. You know, like it's light, right? It's like yeah. it's light work. And, and I think that's what's key, right? Like you don't want to do something that's heavy and burdensome. Yes. And really like, even when we took our break, I felt like it was in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh man, we gotta, we gotta, like, why aren't we, like, what's going on? You know, which yeah. life happens, right? I mean, like, we have wives and kids and nine to five jobs. Yep. And, but it, when it's something that you'd like to talk about, and we, you and I talk about this all the time anyway. So I, sure. dude, this is, this is, this is our MO from the beginning anyway. So we always wanted to, we, we talk about stuff that's, that's legitimately helpful for people that are going through, you know, their journeys like this in real estate and they, or they've wanted to, or take a look at it. So it just feels good. So it, it feels good to be back. And uh, this is awesome, man. I love it. Yeah. And I got sure, a microphone. We're stepping it up, man. We're stepping it up for you guys. It's actually for us. I like buying gear. And so just to justify it to Sheena, I'm like, oh, we have a podcast and I need to buy these things. You know, they, they made me. So I'm just joking. The, um, the, the, but yeah, the so, so like what I was saying earlier, we're trying to create more of a series style where it's a little bit more organized and digestible. So that way you could kind of like, if you're a newbie or even if you you have a couple of properties or whatever, you could kind of go step by step. And so, Siji, why don't you kind of paint us a picture of, of what's in store? Yeah, I feel I feel like a legitimate show now. I mean, we got we got season two. So we're in season two, right? Yes. Of this taping is gonna be season two. And we've broken our episodes out into series now, too. So we're a true like podcast and Netflix series, you know. So <laughs> so season two is all we're gonna break it down into four mini series. So the series one is all about how to get your first property. And we'll have a few segments in that. Series two is about once you've gotten your property or your offer accepted, you know, what to do once you've done that, right? So what are the steps that goes into, uh, you know, the purchasing process? Because there, there is a process involved in this. Uh, and you'll find this, you know, usually a real estate agent will help you educate yourself through that process, but we'll break it down into really small pieces that you can actually take that in and ingest that. Series three is about once you've closed the property, you've you've made a um, you know a purchase, officially signed off on it, closed on it, you have a house in your hand. Now what? What do you do? What what are the steps you need to do to get it prepped, ready to get on the market and get a tenant in? Which is our series four, which is the last piece of it, meaning get a tenant into it so it's you're making it profitable for you and it's a it's a investment that's working for you. So that's basically the four series that we're going to cover this season. Again, they're going to be a little bit shorter, 10 to 15 minute clips, which are, you know, hopefully quick for you guys to take in and, and you can maybe listen while you're on the toilet or, you know, where, where, wherever you, you guys ingest this stuff, you know, wherever you listen to this, I don't know. I mean, we don't want to know where you listen to it, but just as long as you're listening, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so like said, you said, there's four different series, but each series is going to be consistent of multiple episodes. And we've actually filmed a lot of it already. And so we're super excited about it because we feel like we're giving a good framework. We're not doing major deep dives, but we're getting a little bit deeper. So that way it's digestible and like, we don't want it to be overwhelming. And yeah. so I think the goal is if we, if we create these, these episodes that are more digestible, it'll be easier for you to just be comfortable with it and just move forward. Because like at the end of the day, um, we'd like to see people go out there and buying properties and becoming landlords or you know, just, just doing the thing, right? Because like we, we see a lot of benefit in it. And so we just want to share that knowledge. And we also want to receive some knowledge too. So please comment on the episodes that you're watching and let us know your thoughts. Yeah. And a lot of the content is going to be what uh, we like to call evergreen. So a lot of it doesn't change. The, this process hasn't changed. The, the buying process has been the same for 
for years. So it's yeah. easily referenceable. Again, if you ever want to take a look back at it, if you're in the middle of a process, you say, Hey, what do I need to do when I go to the closing day or whatever it is, right? So you have these uh, episodes there for you guys for your reference as well. Right. But with that said, you know, uh, it's all about taking action and moving into something like this. You know, with that said, Saj, I mean, I, I don't know what your thoughts are on the market. I know it's it's crazy times. I mean, there's no houses out in the market and we're telling people to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> it is harder. So like what Sid was saying, like these episodes might be evergreen, but the market is not. That's always changing, right? And so yeah. I think it's good to keep your finger on the pulse and kind of get an understanding of what's going on out there. I think we all kind of have a general idea that it's tougher to find a house. That's a deal. Right. But there's always ways to make a deal. Right. Like, even though we're in this crazy market, like I know said you, you've, you've been in, in some deals already. And I, I've been in a couple of deals as well within this pandemic market where prices are crazy, but at the way to achieve it is probably not the, the traditional route. Right. Like you got to be a little bit more creative and maybe use a wholesaler or you know, just, just start making phone calls and saying, Hey, you want to sell your house? I don't know about you guys. I've been getting a lot of those. Like I, I get to. a lot of calls of like, Hey, do you want to buy, do you want to sell your house? I'm like, no, no, I don't. I'm trying to keep this stuff. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you. you. You are right on that. You have to get super creative. People may say there's not houses out there, but there are, there's, there's deals out there. You just gotta, you have to really look for them, but you know, th this is where you got to kind of plant your money, man. It's it, the inflation is through the roof and like money sitting in the savings account is just going to trash. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I totally agree. Like, I mean, I mean, I, I think we were raised to believe that save your money and keep it in the bank. And, you know, there's a, there's a point of that, like where it's important and you need to save your money. But I think we need to rethink about where we're parking our money. Mm -hmm. Should we park it in an, in a, in an account that's earning you nothing? Or yep. should you park it into a home that could generate some money for you? Right. And yep. so I think that that's the mind shift that happened to me years ago to where it's like, oh man, like I know we're supposed to have money in the bank, but it's earning nothing. And like, you know, you have all this money sitting there doing nothing for you. Like, you, you know, you always hear that term, you know, have your money make money for you. And I, I feel like real estate's kind of the way to go to do that. I had a quick story about like buying and buying houses. Yeah. Uh, a friend's mom was going to India and she was on the way back and they're like, oh, you're coming back to Houston. And I was like, yeah, are you just visiting? Like, she's just making, you know, chopping it up with some stranger, right? You're visiting? No, no, I live in Houston. And they straight up said, oh, do you want to sell your house? I was like, no, I don't want to sell my house. And then someone else came back. There's like, oh, someone from Houston's trying to sell their house? I was like, no, I'm not. It's like, how about you? Are you selling your house? Are you from Houston? Like the people are like hunting, like on a plane. They're coming back from India. It's like an 18 hour flight. And they're just like, you're trying oh, to wow. you know, make a deal on an airplane. Like it's crazy. It's a crazy market. So I do want to make a comment. Like beginning of pandemic, I personally felt, oh man, there's going to be a bunch of foreclosures and, you know, there's going to be a lot of opportunities. So I was trying to prep for that, you know, I was doing like cash out refinances, getting money ready to be able to deploy it somewhere else. Right. It never happened. Like prices, not only do they not sink, they soared. Like things went crazy high. Right. Sidji, would you agree? Or like, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I completely agree. And, and it's the, the thing is, you know, like, I don't think there's a bad time to buy, you know, like, I mean, right. You, you may go through a down downward momentum, right? I mean, it, it, I was I was with you. I was expecting a full foreclosure, just inundation of, of properties out there, but yeah. that never happened. And the more and more I'm hearing, you know, through the, you know, the news outlets and, and just the real estate industry, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, I, no, I, it, yeah. the prices may take a slight dip down, you know, because interest rates are going up and things like that, but I, I don't see that happening, you know? Right. So, yeah. So like, beginning of pandemic, we see prices skyrocket. It was crazy. I, I mean, I'm really talking more about the Houston market. I don't know about other markets, but I feel like it's generally, it's what it is, right? It's going yeah. up. As of recent, I personally have been noticing things leveling out. Like they're not going crazy and they might have like some price reductions that I'm seeing like on the MLS, but it's never, I don't think it's ever going to be yeah. pre-pandemic. I don't think those prices are ever going to be what it is. So I think it's better to wrap your head around like, this is where we are now. This is what the prices are going to be and just plan accordingly. Like make yeah. your, make your steps based off of that. Like that's kind of my view for this year, you know, coming up, like mm -hmm. you don't want to be stagnant. You don't want to just wait for the best deal in the world. You know, you want a good deal, but you know, make the deal happen. Like, like don't wait for prices to just drop significantly. And it highlights the importance of taking action, right? Like making sure you, you know, if you see you have money and you can actually, you know, jump on a deal and, 
and don't get scared about it, meaning, or yeah. go through that analysis paralysis thing of that we always say of, you know, doing too much analysis, it's, it's never going to make you any money. And so I always tell my kids, I say, I said, listen, you only have 24, everybody's limited by 24 hours a day. <laughs> Right. That's, that's it. Right. So you, that's your limiting factor is time. So if you can get your money to work for you while you're sleeping, right. And, and make you more money. Right. Like, and that's, that's where you want to be at. Right. Like you don't want inflation or whatever, taking off your, your, your saving out, taking your savings out of your, your bank accounts. Right. So, right. right. Uh, you know, th those are the things to just think about, but you know, there's always risk. And what's nice about this season is I think we, we drop a lot of good tidbits about, you know, getting creative things that yeah. we've experienced and we've done to get some deals, even the, in the last year and a half, I think we dropped some good uh, tidbits about it. So stay tuned for those little nuggets. Yeah, for sure. And like Sid, you said, like there's risk involved in real estate, there's risk in everything, but I also want to highlight there's risk in just leaving your money in the bank account, just, and letting it do nothing because Inflation is happening, so the value of your money is is decreasing, right? Yeah. So those need that those dollars need to be in a vehicle that's going to grow. And so, in our personal opinion, like real estate's kind of the, the, a, a great way to do it because <clears throat> you you have the benefit of banks partnering with you to make it happen. Um, but there's definitely other ways of doing. It. You can start a business. You could be in stocks. You could do all those type of things. And maybe in the future we could talk about those things. But right now, we just feel real estate is the way to go. Just to wrap up this episode, again, thank you so much for joining us and being a part of this community. Please like, subscribe, share this video with friends that might be interested in real estate. More than all of that, please comment uh, and let us know your thoughts. If there's uh, things that you want to know about that we haven't touched on yet, like let us know. Let us know. We'll do some research. If we, if we don't already know about it, we'll do some research and like share with everybody. But we want this to be a community. And with that said, welcome back. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. We're back. Thanks for listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin. Be sure to tune in next time.